morning. It's six o'clock. Welcome to Daybreak on Tuesday, the 31st of July. On the programme this morning, the... the... Latest on the Olympics coming up. Also this morning, foreign high... And after seven, are you struggling? And Lucy's got weather. Thanks, Lucy. See We're going to get the news now. Oh, sorry. Don't apologise. I want the news as much as you do. <laughs> OK, it's Lucy. Lucy, that's Thank very you. much indeed. Just a few minutes, we'll be live to Peterborough, the hometown of Lewis Smith, one of yesterday's historic medal winners. Dan was there. I was there. I'm still buzzing. What a night it was at the North Greenwich Arena. Uh, plenty more of that to come throughout the morning. Uh, time now to find out what's happening where you are this morning. Front pages at ten past six. How are they looking, Kate? Well, they're looking good. Lots of Olympics, as of course you imagine. I don't think we all want that, don't we? Uh, the Daily Mail Olympics for one hundred years. My goodness, it was worth the wait, though. It really was, Daniel Purvis, Max Whitlock. Not yet. We're still no. competing. He's uh, got a great chance to win gold on the mm. pommel horse uh, later on in the uh, the week. Uh, looking forward to chatting to those guys a little bit later on, as as Nick mentioned there. Let's get um, more of a flavour of what's going on at the Olympics. Lots more from the Olympics yes. as well throughout the morning. But on to other views now. It is 18 minutes past six, and Abu Qatada, the man once described as Osama bin Laden's right hand man in Europe, is again trying to win his freedom today. His legal team want permission from the High Court to challenge his ongoing detention by the Home Secretary. It's a case that has dragged on for almost two decades now. There is always a public outcry, isn't there, whenever his name is mentioned. I think people just feel, oh my goodness, so much... Okay, let's return to uh, the Olympics. Uh, we've heard of all the positive stories this morning thus far. There are some negative ones still floating around. The row over empty seats at Olympic events refuses to go away, even though uh, more have been released to the public. Yeah, Tiffany is at the... Oh, my goodness, we're joining us now with Ed Parkinson. But it's like yours, could organise big events like Madonna at the O2. What... I don't know the exact figures, but millions and millions of tickets have been on sale. Is it possible to create a system? I mean, can we? We're right here now. And Sebco says he wants the tickets, he wants those seats filled. Everyone seems to want those seats filled. We've to put our um, armed forces personnel in those seats and maybe some school kids. Daddy, he's not giving <laughs> you don't get freedom. these opportunities that often, do you? He's not a business, he's <laughs> Are we going to get the weather now? Here's Lucy. Still to come on Daybreak, Brits. Still to come, we'll be meeting the Olympics volunteer who's become an internet sensation. She's brilliant. Okay, let's find out what's happening where you're waking up this morning. As we're saying, London is going to be a nightmare. Well, yeah. you're telling me that... <laughs> Thank you. Now, a warning today for those about to go off on a European holiday. Yet another scam targeting holidaymakers has hit the streets. What's the new style of crime we're seeing emerging, or a sort of a twist on an old game? No, OK. From what we've seen, um, of violence, um, nothing too, too abusive. But yeah, could, could it escalate into something like that? You've pulled over and you're dealing with someone that <laughs> you think might have hit your car and you, you've got out. Yeah. come on daybreak this morning. Are you... Very dry sense of humour, which we dry. love here on Daybreak, meeting Rachel very shortly uh, after this week's competition. Good luck with that. Now our next guest has become an internet sensation after entertaining the crowds at the Olympics in our very own unique style. Uh, yeah, passers-by who caught volunteer rates. <laughs> uh, people will be selling tickets, or then they won't be able to get hold of them. Oh, no, I can see the whole thing getting as far really on that stadium. I'll tell you what, L.A. would be a great place for you. Uh, Thanks, Ross. Yeah, mm. yeah it, it's great when um, actors mm. like that just kind of reinvent themselves just to prove... Well, they do it just to prove how good an actor they are, but it is... They're, they're just acting, aren't they? Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, Charlize Theron does that really well. Yeah, I've always, she uh, does. Always thought. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's our musings. Uh, what's the weather doing? Hello, good morning. It's 7 o'clock. Welcome to Daybreak on Tuesday, the 31st of July. On the programme this morning. Also this morning, are you... Sh and we've got a special guest this morning. First, though, it's time for a news update. Here's Lucy. In the Olympic Village this morning. And good I'm luck! Sure this yeah! For good luck today if you're competing. Today. Uh, well, of course, the message of London 2012 is inspire a generation, and someone who's done just that is the... What an extraordinary moment. That but You've had some extraordinary moments in your life, haven't you? Lovely Definitely. to see you here this oh, morning. Thank you. Well, what did it feel like then, holding that flag? See, there's so much pain in the world, isn't there? And you, of course, have seen... Been at what can do? The idea of inspiring a generation and healing wounds. Can it do that? I'll be looking forward to dealing with all morning. A flutter of the eyelashes, a flick of the hair and a playful touch on the arm. <laughs> All flirting techniques that new research says could help women could get pay scared. rises, <laughs> discounts and better jobs or perhaps even lose friends. <laughs> <laughs> Is it right? Is it right or wrong? Don't be frightened.
Brighton. So right or wrong to use your assets to your own advantage. We sent Michelle Morrison, who knows about all these sort of things, out to flirt with the general public. And after the break, someone who loves his parallel bars and pommel... All this sand gets everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, it's itchy stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Especially the fake stuff. Now, still to come this morning, behind the scenes... We'll explain why we're here very shortly after we've seen this week's competition. Yeah, good luck with that. Now, don't put your pen and paper down for that just yet because we've got money-saving expert Martin. Uh, it can cost you an absolutely fortune, cards of keeping the kids happy over the summer. Yeah, which is the first... I just mentioned as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, th those are the... the... We had some nice weather last week, yeah. but most of this summer so far has been really bad, and that, I think, is really tragic. Otherwise, you can go for a picnic or go to the park. But yeah. when the weather's bad, it's not easy, is it? No, it's not a cash website. It gives you a GPS address. You get put it in on your next child, and it's like a giant... Those are the Done. freebies. OK. It? Uh, there's theme parks. Yeah. Something that I love. I, I, I go yeah. there and I'm not a kid. No, mm -hmm. I love things on a ride. Yeah, I, want, I look forward to that. Look, the first point, I have a new pound ticket. Here is, if you want to go to the cinema and you've got young kids, Cineworld, ha Cineworld has one pound adult and kid tickets on a Saturday oh. morning. Home. Blockbuster video normally has 99p kids. Across all of that. Yeah, that was like a lot. Uh, on the website as ever. Thanks, mate. Nice to see you. Uh, so, weather's crucial. Still to come. Oh, looking forward to this. I was really there last exciting. night watching these boys win bronze for Team GB. We'll be chatting to our medal winning gymnasts. And on the rain, Nadia will be finding out why. Hey, but we're chatting to our bronze medal winning gymnasts. Uh, fantastic uh, night last night at the North Greenwich Arena. I was there. So exciting. Not very smug, am I? No, I'm not at all irritating for those of us who weren't. Anyway, uh, some might see it as a harmless bit of fun, but other people don't like flirting, do they? Well, you're just touching my knee on purpose then yeah, for. Just trying to freak you yeah, out. Make a point. Freak you out, yeah. Uh, yeah, some people uh, see flirting as a useful uh, tool to get where they want to be in their career. New research has found women who are good at uh, fluttering their eyelashes or twirling their hair can earn higher wages or even get a better deal when buying big items like cars. We asked celebrities what they thought. Oh, it's so risky, isn't it? We're joined uh, by... Here are the headlines on Daybreak this morning. Britain is... I was up all night doing handstands and cartwheels and forward rolls in celebration of our bronze medal, and I'm really excited at the prospect of speaking to the boys that did us proud last night. Our... Hi there. Well, we had to wait 100 years for it, but it was well worth it. Last night, from uh, Superman to Wonder Woman. Oh. Thank you very much indeed. Well, there's a warning today for those of you about to embark on a European holiday. Are you for prey, then? Well, we were driving down the, the motorway, the AP7, as I said, around ID, money... And you guys were fairly well, well aware of what uh, might happen abroad with regards to crime, but completely unaware of... This. I suppose it's even more frustrating. I mean, we've got pictures uh, of an example of this. Keep the car locked. Yeah. Don't pull over for... Come on Daybreak this morning. We may not have got gold in London yet. About winning a gold medal, Chris and Jane. But first, uh, this week's competition. See you in a bit. Yeah, good luck. Jane Torval and Christopher Dean are with us, as you've seen this morning. Their gold medal-winning bolero performance. Skating with the Olympic torch. You must have been one of the few ever to do that, aren't you? I think that was a first. Again, the denouement was that magnificent cauldron at the opening ceremony. Uh, Tiffany is down at the Olympic. That's it from us today. Good luck to all our medal hopes. Dan has been inspired by our <sighs> British gymnastic goal. A bronze. Oh, my heck. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on. What is he doing? That is brilliant. <laughs> that is amazing. Stop, stop now. I'm going to like to start Phillips. Um, we've got Martin Lewis as well tomorrow teaching you how and helping you how to entertain your kids <laughs> on the holidays. Um, it's not, yeah, you're right. You're right.